I invited you for on behalf of our party, the APC. Over the last two, three days, the country and the world of social media have been undoubted with reports of the visit of one of our leaders. Uh, former governor of Lagos State, the former distinguished senator of the federal government of Nigeria, and one of the leaders of the great party when he went for his campaign in Ogu or to Ogu State, I'll be able to speak. In the course of his address, he went as far as to go off his own issue of address to mention what happened between him and Buhari, our president, on Buhari GCFR. He went as far as to tell his audience how President Mohamed Buhari went to him on several occasions, up to three occasions, and in such instances, even prostrating in tears, begging him to endorse him and to support him for the presidency of the of Nigeria. He claimed who I went to him both in Lagos and in Kaduna, several such occasions. And uh, the audience, even though in Yoruba, we have a lot of people who speak Yoruba, who are Yoruba, not just speaking, but who are Yorubas. And the interpretation of what is more than negative, to say the ordinary say negative, but it's more than negative, is very, very, very insulting. It's very, very unbecoming for a person of that standing to do what he did a sitting president of the federal government of Nigeria, a president that was produced by the votes of APC, our own. Though as a president, he belongs to everybody, every Nigerian. But the fact of the matter, the platform APC threw him up to that office. And it's a bit amazing how a fellow APC person will make those kind of comments in those kind of circumstances about the president. We take exception to this. We take exception to this. And it does not show any appreciable level of respect for the office of Mr. President and for the person of Mr. President Umudu Buhari Jisipar. We therefore, without any communication whatsoever, we want to make it public that we are saddened about what we saw in the video, in that reportage, and uh, we condemn it in the strongest of terms. I do hope that we we'll never ever see this kind of thing again on the screens, you know, either in the social media or on our television or hear that kind of thing on our radio or if any public appear by anybody, or particularly those who are of the APC extraction to make those kind of unbecoming comments. Yes, between yesterday, particularly this morning, we saw some efforts to retract, but that effort is not adequate if it was sincere. It's not in-depth enough. It doesn't wipe out the impression, the negative impression, you know, that that event has left in our minds. I thought I should share this with you. This is our position. And I, as chairman of this ruling party, have a duty to come out and stand by our government, to stand by our president, and say that is integrity and integrity of this government. Thank you. Thank you. No questions. Question? Mm -hmm. One last question. Oh, yes, one more. But if you ask silly question, I'll give you silly answer. That's right. <laughs> <laughs>
and I'm sorry, you are the most one you care about. I can't insult Adam. <laughs> <laughs> that one is the German. You respect yourself. That thing is said. So, sir, in all the condemnation, would there be punitive measure against an early member of the party? Uh, as we saw. That's the question. Then, uh, the second question is uh, the, whether the party has uh, okayed the report of the screening panel that we got yesterday. I don't want to take those two things together. Because they are mischief loaded. Okay? I don't want to take the elections or the primary uh, screening, oh, sorry, the aspirant screening along with this question. Because if you do so, is to kind of find a way to justify, you know, find a way to give some reason that may have caused him doing what he did. For one thing I know is at the time this event took place, the screening committee has not made a report to us at all. And I was trying to suggest that anybody was under any threat. So there was no justification for the time that this happened whatsoever. But the any punitive measure, that was the first question. The question of punitive me 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 uh, measure, yes uh, and no. Uh, this morning we saw some traces of uh, withdrawal of those statements. You know, you see, these are statements that are matched not just with intention, but with actual action. So, yes, we can't say we refuse not seeing on the papers, you know, what was reported as a, he didn't say regret. It happened. He said he wouldn't, he not, you know, he, that he has the greatest respect for the president, he has it, but that's just, you see, in houses that say, oh, about. You say once you take hold of any amount of grass from a flash roof and you pull it off from the roof, you can't put the same, the same number of uh, uh, grass back into the roof. It will go. What is out is out. Right? And what he did say was not an apology. What I read in the papers today is not an, it was not an apology. It's just like trying to retract and say, no, I didn't mean this. It was like a. Uh, problem of interpretation. That's what that is. It doesn't, it doesn't, it's not a regret. It didn't show any apology for it. Yes. No. The issue of this we watch. We watch out. We watch out. We we'll be on the watch. You see, if there's remorse, but what is it? there's no remorse. We watch it. If there, if there's need for us to penalize any member of the party, not just uh, uh, anybody. So we'll bring him to, 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 the, to the party's books. Anybody. But we watch events as they unfold. Okay, so Francis from Pocha. Um, on the issue of a uh, statutory delegates, which um, the court has actually uh, okayed. Mm -hmm. um, so um, are we looking to include them as part of um, ahead of the, the, the primary? Well, I'm a lawyer. We have served notice of appeal, so the matter is in court. But as far as we are concerned, as far as this convention is concerned, certain delegates are excluded. Whatever steps we will take to ensure that they do vote, we will take. Okay, on the issue of um, the 10 uh, disqualified uh, aspirants, um, I don't expect it at the premise. I want to say very clearly that no aspirant has been disqualified. We have the report. No delegate has been disqualified. It's like sitting an exam. And then, you know, even if you pass, there's grading. There's a 2 1, sorry, that's a first class. There is. Uh, uh, second, class second class upper, second class lower, you know, uh, and the rest of them, right, up to ordinary pass. So, no aspirant has been disqualified. I don't know how to worry about this chief. People went to the point that nobody is, all the 23. Incidentally, the president of the government, GCFR, has invited all of them to the three 
to dinner today. You'll be interacting with all of them today. Thank you. 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 Thank you.